Is she waking up? Yeah, it looks like it. Go ahead. Talk to her. Can you hear me? Can you wake up? I'm right here. Oh, thank God. I'm so, um, I'm just so worried. About you now that you're, you're awake. I just can't tell you how happy I am. Disoriented. Sam, you're in the hospital. Just try and relax and let us help you. It's okay, I'm right here. Sam, are you feeling any pain? Sam, can you tell us what's wrong? I can't hear you. We need to find out the extent of the injuries. This should help with the communication gap. Sam. with a concussion. But this doesn't explain the hearing loss. She was in an enclosed area when the blast occurred. She could be dealing with brain damage from the blunt force trauma. But given there's no evidence of a brain bleed on the scans, the hearing loss could be temporary. When will you know for sure? I'm going to call in a specialist. We'll get some answers. We'll be back. Between the bus crashes and the car bombs, I think it's just a little too much stress for all of us. So how about we agree no more, okay? Alexis. I don't have any illusions about you not working for Sunny anymore. It's just that Sam I'm Sam can't hear you. Sam can't hear anything. It's a residual effect from the blast. I called in the specialist to pinpoint the cause of Sam's hearing loss and whether or not we can expect it to return. In the meantime, we're going to move her to her own room and monitor her. As a precaution, are you going to look into it, see if there's anything else going on? We're going to keep a very close eye on Sam, make sure there's no further complications. Excuse me. Robin. What? about when they brought Sam out on the green, how relieved I was that it wasn't Brenda. How bad I feel about that. No, don't feel bad because you're relieved your best friend is alive. We don't know if she is. We don't know anything. The initial scans are encouraging. There is no edema, no brain bleed. The intracranial pressure is holding steady. Her pupils are even and reactive. These are all great signs. Okay, so does that mean she'll make a full recovery, and right? And so the specialist can determine the cause of Sam's hearing loss? I can't say. All we can do is um, wait, hope for the best. I don't mean to be rude, but that thing you say about hoping for the best is just not really very comforting. I understand. This is difficult, Alexis. I do. But that's all I can give you right now. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm frustrated that Hoffman thought that my daughter was disposable, and I, I can't believe that I worked with him on a daily basis. I had no idea what he was doing. There's nothing more we can do for Sam tonight. Just sending Dr. Henley a copy of her scans for the morning. Oh, I can do that. Why don't you go home? It's been a long day. Oh, it's okay. I'm almost done. Okay. I was just about to leave. I can give you a ride. I can take a cab. Thank you. 
Robin, it's been a really long day. I, I, I won't stay. I'll drop you off at the porch. I just, I really want to make sure that you get home safe. Just let me do that. Uh, honestly, I don't know what I would have done if you weren't here with me tonight. I've been a mess, and you have been there every single step of the way supporting me. Which, of course, reminded me of all the reasons why I love you. I could, I could forget that. <laughs> well, I love you, too. You and Emma mean everything to me. Look, I want to forgive you, okay? I, I, I want to be a family again. But every time I try to do that, I just feel stuck and, and disappointed. You don't have to forgive me. Not now. I just, tonight I just want to take you home. Okay. 